guys, Tyrrell here, and today I'm going to be trying some Quatra Lava Lunion. So basically, this is a Galadon invented army. I've watched pretty much every video he has, so I knew about this when I made the video Do Lava Hounds Suck? That wasn't directed at people who can use it like that, that was directed at the general populace who maybe aren't as good with it and aren't even really sort of trying it out. They just had some bad experience with it, but in reality, it's a pretty good army. Obviously, you've seen it on his channel, three-starring people probably by now. So I'm going to be trying to do it so far. As you can see by this first replay, I'm not very good at it on my first try, but this was like my legitimate first try of any type of Lava Lunion at all, besides having one Lava Hound in the clan castle. Like my Lava Hounds just finished maxing out. So at this point, I'm trying to get the last 10% and the Town Hall with my heroes alone. I'm trying to wait for my Barbarian King to break through the wall. I always do that just to try and make sure they go the right direction. I don't want my Queen going off one side or, you know, my Barbarian King goes the wrong direction and drags my Queen with him because he breaks a wall. So I just kind of wait it out a little bit. It's unfortunate, but my Queen is actually being targeted, which is very bad. So I have to waste her ability right there. And at this point, I mean, wasting the ability so soon, that's already very dangerous for her. And she gets targeted by that Expo. That is, that is awful. That is, that is just terrible. There's no way she's going to survive because she doesn't have her ability and I've got no more spells. And, of course, always the stupid skeleton traps. Even though I kind of may have come up with the idea before Supercell even put them out. I... I proposed it on the ideas sub forum, so I guess it's my own fault because I originally, you know, wanted this and suggested this, and now it's screwing me over pretty badly. But I'm gonna go ahead and try again. I don't give up. I'm gonna try again. This guy looks decent. Now the problem with Quattro Lava Lunion for me is how fast paced it is. I'm used to Go Wee Wee and Go Wipe, which is sort of a medium pace, and Balloonion, which is like a slow pace. You know, one star Balloonion's a slow pace. Two star is kind of medium paced. But this just happens so fast, like you don't even have time to react. I didn't even use my freeze spells, that, so I'm like out of troops and the Inferno Towers are still up because I still have both my freeze spells, I just couldn't react fast enough. So I'm just trying to get my minions in to destroy what they can, but I'm gonna have to kind of use my heroes to get whatever I can. So at this point, again, I'm going to deploy my Barbarian King, see if he goes the right direction. I'm not even going to deploy my Arch Queen after he breaks that first wall, no, because there's nothing in there, so that doesn't determine where they go. What's going to happen is I'm going to wait for him to go and break whatever wall he's going to break next. So we're going to go ahead and see where that is. I'm hoping it'll be like that T-junction right there. That would be the most optimal place for him to hit, but no! He hits one off from it. He hits one off from it because, I don't know, a balloon fell or something and damaged that wall right there, but not the one next to it, so he goes for the weakest wall. So instead of breaking the T-junction, which would be the best possible way to do it, obviously, I guess, his AI isn't even seeing the other one as a compartment because it's empty. But still, if he'd broken that T-junction, it would have helped with my Archer Queen a lot better, but I'm just going to go ahead and deploy her. My King's dead. My King's gone. Boom! Little screen shake right there. He's dead. No more King. And my queen's just going to be hitting that wall. Even though, look at that. There's a broken wall right there. She, okay, her range is eight tiles. So she saw that. But she still went for another wall. I do not understand. I cannot comprehend sometimes the AI of this queen. Broken wall five spaces away from you to an empty compartment. But you break another wall on that empty compartment. Now there's been plenty of videos where the archer queen goes crazy and just starts hitting random walls. Like, I've seen one replay where just, it absolutely goes insane. She's just breaking walls the entire time. She never hits a single building. They 100% the base, but she hits the walls for the full three minutes. And obviously you saw, that was sort of a clutch ability on her right there. Clutch ability use, because she disappeared, all her archers died, so the skeleton stopped. Otherwise they would have distracted her, she would have been killed, and I wouldn't have gotten the town hall, and I would have lost that one. Now I went against this guy, he's got down expos and empty infernos. The empty infernos did help me a little bit, but only a little bit, because that freeze could have hit the inferno and the air defense, but I didn't even have to worry about that. So I still could have frozen him just like that, and wouldn't have had to worry about them. So I still would have gotten as far as I am now. And look at that, 
all four of my lava hounds survived all the way to that air defense over there. If you haven't been watching, you rewind and go watch that again. Because all four made it there, and you see four subsequent explosions of lava hounds. Just like, boom, 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 boom. The lava hounds just, there's so many all in one spot that they actually become good. They actually start doing damage, and the lava pups just swarm over the base. There's like 40 lava pups at one point right there which is incredibly distracting towards the queen who would have been like hitting my balloons that were still up or just whatever and they take down some percentage. I don't need the percentage, I've already got the two star without deploying my heroes. You may be saying, yeah, but the infernos were empty. Sure, the infernos were empty, but I still could have frozen them with the same free spells that I used while freezing the air defense. So they wouldn't have made any real difference. I still would have gotten the two star, I may have gotten, you know, 75% instead of 87%. But I got the two star and I'm happy with that. So I still gotta work on this. So you're gonna be seeing more videos of this from me because I really wanna perfect this down to like a science. I really wanna learn it. So I wanna help you guys learn it too if you're having troubles with it. Or if you know what you're doing, please tell me. Please tell me. I'm still gonna be trying it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Material out. Come on.